Hi, I'm Tyler Denniston, one of the product managers here at Quality Bicycle Products. I'd like to talk to you today about the new bottom bracket standards that we've been seeing recently occur on both mountain bikes and road bikes. This uh, area has been causing a little bit of confusion, and hopefully after today, you'll learn a little bit more and be able to speak to it with a little bit more confidence. The first standard that we're going to look at is one that was introduced primarily by Shimano, and we call this PressFit BB86 when used for road bikes, and PressFit BB91 when used for mountain bikes. This standard can be identified by a smooth bore uh, bottom bracket that goes all the way through. The width of the frame shell is going to be the same as if we had a standard English or Italian thread bottom bracket, and then we threaded our cups in after the fact. So the width that we have on this frame is the same as which we would have on a English threaded bottom bracket with cups threaded in it. The cup for this bottom bracket is going to be plastic. It's going to have a 24 millimeter pass through and pressing it in, it's going to be pretty easy with Park Tools. The thing to know about this is that the compatibility with the bottom bracket is going to be exclusive, but the cranks that you're most familiar with, Holotech 2, Mega XO, X-Type, GXP, are all going to work on this frame standard. The difference that we've got between mountain bike and road bike cranks is the additional width that we would normally devote to a 73 millimeter wide bottom bracket on the mountain bike side versus the 68 millimeter wide version on the road side. So on this 86 millimeter wide bottom bracket, this exclusively accepts road cranks. On the mountain bike side of things, we're going to have a 91 millimeter wide bottom bracket and that's going to exclusively accept mountain bike cranks. Very similar to the PressFit BB86 and BB91 standards that we just talked about is Trex BB90 and BB95. We've got the same difference as we do between BB86 and BB91. The 90 millimeter wide bottom bracket is one that's exclusive for road cranks. The 95 millimeter wide bottom bracket is one that's exclusive for mountain bike cranks. The notable differences between PressFit 86 and BB90 is that instead of using cups, we've got a shoulder for a bearing, and the bearing is going to drop in directly against that shoulder. There are no cups, and the race is built directly into the frame. Now, this standard hasn't been adopted very widely, uh, and it's going to be seen primarily on Trek and Gary Fisher bicycles, but it's one that you should be aware of because there are so many of those bicycles out in the market. The tools to install this bottom bracket type as well as remove it are shared between par tool between PressFit BB86 and BB91, as well as BB90 and BB95. The park tool that we use to service BB86, BB91, BB90, and BB95 is a park BBT 90.3. Now, what this is, is very similar to the rocket tool that we use to remove headset cups. And really, the installation and removal for both of these bottom bracket styles is very similar to one that you'd find on the headset. This is the removal tool, so we just slide it through our bearing and we use it to knock the opposing cup out the other side with soft blows from the hammer and then rotating the tool as we go. For installation, we're going to need to pair these special adapters that are going to rest against the bearing with our Park Tool headset press. We slide these adapters onto the headset press, align them with the bearings, grease the bearings, and apply pressure as we press them in. So now that we've gone over bottom bracket standards that we used on a standard 24 millimeter style crank set, let's go over some of the new bottom bracket standards that we would use on BB30 cranks. What I've got in my hands here is Salsa's new Spearfish frame. What you're going to see on the bottom bracket is going to be a press fit BB30 bottom bracket. This bottom bracket interface is going to be larger in diameter as well as narrower than the option that we saw from the BB86 standard. However, it's going to be very similar. We still use plastic cups with a bearing encased, and we press them into the frame in order to get the bottom bracket in. Uh, what you're going to find is that the spindle that's required for this is going to be a 30 millimeter in diameter one, and the BB30 cranks are going to work precisely with this press fit BB30 standard. However, because we are larger in diameter as well as narrower, we can get a number of adapters to use standard 24 millimeter cranks in this press fit BB30 frame. The opposite is not true with our BB86, BB91, BB90, and BB95. 
those are only going to be accepting of the 24 millimeter spindle standard, whereas these are going to be able to go both with BB30 cranks as well as Holotech 2, GXP, Mega XO, and X type cranks. Once again, in juxtaposition to the BB90 and BB95 standard that we saw on that track, this is a Ridley cross knife, and this is going to have a BB30 bottom bracket. The identifying characteristics of the BB30 bottom bracket is it's going to be 42 millimeters as an inside diameter for the bottom bracket. And then if you look very closely, you'll see that there's a thin ridge, seven millimeters inside, that runs the full diameter inside the bottom bracket. This is for a snap ring. We place the snap ring into this channel, and then we're going to be able to press our bearing directly in there. So just in the same way that we've got BB90 and BB95 for 24 millimeter cranks as an integrated standard, BB30 is the integrated standard that accepts BB30 cranks. Similar to our press fit BB30, because we're both narrower and larger in diameter, adapters are available if you choose to use 24 millimeter cranks in this frame. For the installation and removal of BB30 and press fit 30 frames, we recommend Part Tools' new BBT 30.3 installation and removal tool. Let's start with the removal tool. This is like an oversized bearing punch. In order to get this to remove, what we'll do is we would pass it through one of the bearings. We'd use this Delrin aligner to make sure that we're nice and level. And then we would strike this with a hammer while rotating gently in order to knock the opposing bearing off. You can see that on the edge, there's perfect alignment between the tool and the inner race of the BB30 bearing. And this will work for both our press fit BB30 as well as for our BB30 standards. Installation is very similar to that which we find on our BB86, BB91, BB90, BB95 tool. It's a set of presses that we use on our Park Tool headset press. We align these with the bearing, apply grease, and then press either the cups of the PressFit 30 or the bearings of the BB30 directly into the frame. One easy way to keep these standards straight in your head is to think of two separate attributes that are unique to each of the standards. The first one would be bottom bracket spindle type. Does your bottom bracket spindle type refer to a 24 millimeter spindle, as in Holotech 2 or GXP, or does it use a 30 millimeter spindle and BB30 cranks? The second attribute to cross-reference that against is, does your bottom bracket take internal cups or is the race integrated into the frame? We're gonna see that race integrated into the frame in our BB90 and BB95 for the 24 millimeter spindle and BB30 for the BB30 spindle.